What's up everyone, Cold Fusion here, and welcome back to Devil May Cry 4. Last time we, uh, trekked our way back through the forest, uh, defeated Echidna, and actually killed her for real this time. We claimed a new devil arm in the form of Gilgamesh, which are some pretty cool gauntlets. Uh, and we pushed our way back into Fortuna Castle, where we defeated another frog called Dagon. Uh, it doesn't actually state his name, but, uh, Nero killed Bale, so... This is a different frog. And we also got another devil arm in the form of Pandora, but th that's an actual gun that we have. But oh well. So let's look at the power screen. Pandora, here we go. I haven't really purchased upgrades for this, honestly, because, gotta be honest, not much of a fan of it, really. It's a bit too awkward to me to use. Move left stick in any combination of left or right three times. See, you have to, like, you have to, like, perform, like, combo inputs to use certain abilities on it. It's weird. Transform Pandora into a bazooka and turn enemies into ash. Successful attacks will fill the disaster gauge. And yeah, that's like a gauge that is in the middle of your health bar, I believe. Or it's somewhere, anywhere. And I don't really know what it does, to be honest. It's kind of weird. Revenge. After executing Hatred, spin left stick twice in any direction. Weird. Transform Pandora into a laser cannon and make foes a distant memory. A successful attacks will fill the disaster gauge. Right. I don't intend on using this. I'm sorry. I, I, it's it's going to be too much effort just to use, like, you know, use right now. I mean, it'll probably be fine if I learn how to use it in my free time, but not now. A poisonous gas permeates the air. You must escape before your life is drained. Oh good, a time limit mission. We all know how much I love these. Well, we have another adjudicator statue, so that's gonna have to wait. Nice. And there's some health right there. Just in case, uh, you know, you waste your time on the statue. <clears throat> right, so we're back in the lab. We're back in the research and development area. Now I have a time limit to deal with these cuts. Fuck you. I only have so long to deal with these enemies. <clears throat> Fuck off. Fuck off!
What is it with DMC games and making enemies that are just so fucking annoying and just never die? Mm. Yeah, that did not hit me. I just couldn't have hit me because I wasn't near it. <laughs> die, you piece of fucking shit! How much health does this piece of fucking shit have? Oh my goodness. He's literally a one health. One. Fuck you. Go straight to hell where you came from. Oh look, it's this game again. <laughs> or is it? Nope, Dante doesn't play those games. And again, I don't really have a consistent way to deal with these fucks. Actually, no, the shot. Dude, again, the shotgun's just so fucking good. There we go. I don't think I had to fight those enemies, I could have just walked past. It's all right. Come on.
Right to who? Hey, mobs. Yeah, also that's a thing as well. Uh, because I'm not playing Nero now, uh, I don't have the glowing arm, which will tell me where there's like secret items. Nope. At least we're out in the open now, which means that we at least get away from the poisonous gas for a brief moment anyway. Unfortunately, again, the moment is only going to be brief, considering the fact that we're going to be going back inside. Right. Angel creation. I feel like the shotgun is pretty much mandatory for these guys, considering. They're pretty annoying to fight otherwise. It is no longer painful to breathe. The poisonous gas must not reach must not reach this area. Or do you mean it can't? Same must not's a bit weird. Okay. It's almost like that's an imperative, you know, like you can't get here otherwise, you know. The world ends. I don't know. Fuck it. Time to get out. Nice. So also now that we deal now uh, now that I dealt with the frog, all of the ice around here should be gone. It would only make sense. Yep. By eliminating its source, the magical barrier of ice has been melted. It looks like you will be able to leave the castle now. Yay! Let's do that, shall we?
Okay, that would have been great if it selected the weapon I wanted. Sure. Come on, jump on. one as well. Yeah, I think that's all there is here. Let's leave! What? Don't do that. Sure, dude. Across the path of Caradras. get that red orb. That's the entire fucking reason I dropped down there. Hey, we have another one of these. Alright. Right, I think we're good. Time to face our good old friend once again. Boss fight time. That's a pr that's pretty damn intimidating. You don't say. What? Get off me tail! Wish you would have noticed me earlier. Now my coat's all charred. Yeah, dude.
That attack has an insane range, dude. See why he's so tough? Oh, you know. Like, he just. I don't know, man. Burial has really weird attacks. And he, he like, has full body tracking, like, everywhere. Oh, no. It's strange. You can stay and die, or you can walk your ugly ass back through that gate. It's your call, pal. I've retreated once and will not do so again. That's a let down. I was hoping for a bit more than just a few sparks. And what'll be the final devil arm? Wonderful innuendo. In the end, we are all satisfied. You are set free. It don't look so big from where I'm standing. Lucifer, a hellish weapon capable of summoning an infinite number of exploding blades that hover ominously in the air. It's even got a little rose, that's cute. Lucifer combo here, while on the ground, why, 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 you know, recurring. Position swords around you and pierce your enemies repeatedly. There is no end to this endless assault of pure carnage. Right, so let's try that. It's pretty cool. And actually has a... It has a lot of depth to it, surprisingly, in terms of it being a strategic weapon. They all explode eventually. I can, like, stack them up a little bit, and if I hold back and Y, you'll throw a rose out, if you see it. Oh, he has it in his mouth, I see. Yes, the rose in his mouth. Yeah, he throws like a little rose, which uh, detonates all of the swords in the air. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That's the mission. Mission 17, Adagio for strings, or is it Adagio, Adagio, I don't know that word, regain possession of Yamato, okay, first off, let's look at Lucifer, this is the last weapon we're gonna get, per se, pin up, alright, that's, yeah, that was the move I was talking about, about stacking swords in front of you, I 
Actually, if I'm not mistaken... Let me try it when we get into this mission. Right, let me try it. I think you can start stacking swords up anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then if I do it... No, okay, it fucking locks onto a target that I didn't want to lock onto. Okay, no, I thought doing that ability would stack them together. Like, it would drag all the swords from wherever and put them in front of me. That's not what happens. Okay. Well, back of the port. I guess you could say this is somewhat nostalgic, even though we we've not been away long. Let's <laughs> use Lucifer a bit, I suppose. Trying to jump over his fucking head. Red orb here. Just grab that shit. There we go. Get this fucking piece of shit out of here, please. 
Oh look, another one. It's almost like these fuckers can't stay dead. See what I said like back when these first when these enemies first appeared, I said they were annoying as fuck. Well, there you go, point proven. No! I dropped my combo up to a fucking dog! Dude, fuck you! Die already, you piece of shit! Elusive as fuck! Come on, jump up. Right, there we go. Come on. Come on. Is this game taking the pace? Jump up. Jump up, you fucking cunt. There we go. Right, so what's up here? There's typically a blue orb fragment here, I think. That's what I was trying to demonstrate, but Dante... I don't know... He's a bit older, man. His legs ain't working quite like they used to. Right, there's a secret mission here, behind that. And I believe this is one with the laser room. Basically that hallway where all those lasers came at you, but you have to do it without the help of the slow-mo. So you need to have like, 
I don't know, you have to have like a bunch of different things in order to make it. But I don't think I have the thing required for it, so I'm not going to attempt it. I thought I was going to be able to at least beat one secret mission by re-going through this game. But it turns out like some of those secret missions I thought I could beat, uh, turns out I really can't. It turns out it requires a different method than what I was thinking. Strange. Okay, that's completing our bullshit, but okay. Fuck you! I want to kill this piece of shit! Thank you. Hey, now we can have a tussle. Alright dude, broken fucking ass enemy. Hits you even when you dodge, see? Nice. I am thankful for the full heal. Well, we've got another boss and uh, a pretty enjoyable cutscene coming up. It's Agnes again. Judgments interest me not. For I am here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. That is what you think. And that is why I wait in your power.
What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. Oh no, not this attack. lack the physical ability of a demon but humans possess something that demons don't what what is it the demons lack please for the sake of my research please tell me no 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 if you're gonna continue your research in the next no, world no 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 And no blood anywhere, okay. And the rest is silence. Nice. Very Shakespearean, I like it. And we finally disposed of Agnes. And all shit is gone. Well. For now. That's not a spoiler by the way, it's in reference to the fact that we're gonna have a boss rush. Because of course we do.
There we go. Alright guys, so uh, I hope you enjoyed, and we're closing in on the end of the game soon, so that should be fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.